I love jewelry and if I could, I'd be a jewelry designer. Now, 10 years ago, we did this video about the best kept silver cleaning secret. And in 10 years, I've learned a thing or two. I've got some new jewelry. So I wanted to redo the video, but in this video, I also want to include the updated silver cleaning recipe, but also gold and diamond cleaning information, as well as some jewelry tips like how to layer and how to get rid of tangles. So stick around, we're gonna cover my favorite topic with my least favorite topic, jewelry and cleaning. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, and a quick note, in this video, you're going to see me use a selection of microfiber cloths. I am also in love with microfiber cloths. I love a lot of things. And our small space kit, which contains all of the cloths I'll be using in this video, is heading into retirement. So we are discontinuing the line and it's on a great sale. I've got a link for you down below if you wanna check it out. It's on clearance and we're never gonna see it again. So go get yours. If you've ever had a piece of silver, you've probably experienced the tarnishing of that silver. It's sort of a discoloration, a black or brown kind of color that sort of layers itself on top of your piece. It doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. In fact, the air around you is what is causing that tarnishing and specifically the sulfuric compounds in the air that tarnish it over time. So all you need to do is remove the tarnish and it is so simple, so easy. And I've removed two of the ingredients from our previous recipe because it can just be that simple. Now this works for silver jewelry, but also any silver pieces that you have at home. So pick a vessel that is an appropriate size for the amount of items that you're going to be cleaning. And you wanna line the bottom of that vessel with tin foil, shiny side up for good luck and better results. Next, you're going to sprinkle a couple tablespoons of baking soda on top of the tin foil. And finally, you're going to take a kettle full of boiling hot water and pour that over top your tin foil and baking soda. Now within seconds or minutes, you will start to see that tarnish be removed. Following that, you can remove each piece. You might wanna use a gloved hand or tongs just so that you don't burn yourself and lay them flat to dry or use a flat cloth to just polish them up. Now what this does is help to remove the tarnish without any scratching. Silver is a pretty soft metal. So one of the concerns is of course tarnishing, but also scratching. And when you scratch, your silver kind of looks dull, which is why you don't want to use anything harsh or scratchy when you're cleaning your material. When you're wearing silver, it can also tarnish because it's being exposed to other things like zinc. So if you're using makeup or sunscreen that has zinc on it, be mindful of that and you could be exposing it to other chemicals. For example, if you're wearing your silver in the pool and you're swimming, that can also tarnish it quicker. So the best thing to do is just remove silver whenever you're going swimming, or if you're gonna be wearing makeup or sunscreen that has metals in it, and try to stay away from sulfur forward places. When you're not using your silver, you wanna make sure that you're wrapping it and or storing it in a lined jewelry box. I have a lined jewelry box. I've had the same one for years. It's kind of got this like velvety interior and it's done a pretty good job at maintaining my silver pieces. In fact, the same silver pieces I cleaned 10 years ago, I have in this video as well. This jewelry box I've had for about seven years now and the tarnish is significantly less. I haven't worn those pieces in a while. You can also wrap your jewelry in a tarnish protecting cloth. You can even wrap it in paper towel and kind of double bag it and then store it that way if it's like, you know, silver forks and knives or serving pieces. There are a lot of different options. Ideally, you just wanna keep it away from as much air as you can. Let's move on to the sparklier things in life, diamonds and gold. So whether it's earrings, an engagement ring, an eternity band, whatever pieces you might have, I will say that gold and diamonds, when they are set, get really dirty. Because let's face it, if you have gold earrings with diamonds set in them, you can get body oils and shampoos and product kind of stuck in your earrings. I'm really lazy when it comes to earrings. I hardly take mine out. And for things like rings, you know, when you're cleaning, putting on sunscreen, using hand sanitizer, 
things just build up and it makes your jewelry look dull. Because we want to make sure that we're not causing any damage, the easiest way to keep these items clean is to remove them whenever you're exposing yourself to something that could be icky. Like for example, on the days when you're washing your hair, take out your earrings, take off your necklaces, remove your rings. Again, I'm lazy. I don't do it all that often. Plus I'm constantly putting on hand cream. So you can imagine my rings especially get very dirty. The easiest way to clean gold and diamond jewelry is to set up boiling hot water and add dish soap. Let the stuff have a bath, use a super soft toothbrush, a children's toothbrush is often recommended, and brush your jewelry clean. Now, if you don't wanna brush your jewelry clean, for example, if you have a thick piece of gold and you're worried about visible scratches, gold is also fairly soft when it comes to cleaning, um, you can actually just let it soak for a long time and whatever buildup is there will eventually break off. Then you can remove your pieces and dry them with a flat weave cloth. Now another option is to get an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. Anytime you take your pieces of jewelry to a jewelry store and they say they'll clean them for you, they're using an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner and boy, do your pieces sparkle. Here's the only thing, you gotta pay for it and they're not cheap and you have to find somewhere to store it and they're not tiny. But if you really love jewelry and you've got the space and the money, ultrasonic jewelry cleaner for the win. Whether it's gold or silver or some mystery metal that you bought off Etsy like this necklace, um, you're probably going to experience tangling at some point. And I just wanted to share a little tip for how to detangle your necklaces because goodness knows that happens to me. You can take a little bit of oil, whether it's olive oil or coconut oil, and apply it to the area that has been knotted. Then you're going to use a sewing needle to get into the knot and loosen it up. I have found that this works way better than using your hot dog sized fingers to try and solve these little teeny tiny knots. One other fun jewelry tip that I have learned and I must share is how to layer your necklaces so that they don't all tangle up in a giant mess. What you wanna do is lay out your necklaces in the order that you want them layered. Then you are going to attach one clasp to one catch, making a really long line of necklace. So if you have two necklaces, you're gonna attach the two together. If you have three, you get the idea. The next thing you're going to do is hold one clasp of the necklace and then start wrapping the remainder of those necklaces around your neck. If you got two necklaces on your line, you're gonna wrap twice. If you've got three, you're gonna do three wraps. The way to finish this up is to connect the clasp to the final catch, and then you're just going to adjust your necklaces. What this does is instead of having three separate necklaces becoming a rat's nest back there, you've just got one long chain that you've now wrapped and layered. And when you're done wearing those necklaces, you can just unclasp, unwind, lay everything out, and detach separately. On the durability scale, silver, diamonds, and gold, they can handle a lot. Costume jewelry, on the other hand, can turn green, can get funky, can discolor, all kinds. So my rule with costume jewelry is A, I don't spend too much on it because my expectations of it are very low, and B, I remove it anytime I am taking a shower, going swimming, or exposing myself to perfume or a type of product that might discolor, tarnish, or turn it green. So costume jewelry, I just try to take as good care of it for as long as I can, and then as soon as it becomes a weird color, I just move on. Now that you are a certified gemologist, I'd love to know in the comments down below, are you somebody who responsibly removes all their jewelry every day before they go to bed, before they shower, before they swim? Or are you just old school and you keep it on and they're gonna have to rip it out of your cold, dead hands?
like me? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you thought it was cool that you could clean silver with tin foil, you gotta see our whole video on tin foil hacks. It's right over there. It's another oldie, but goodie. If you want to support the Clean My Space channel, a couple ways you can do that. You can subscribe to our channel. You can super like this video. And you can also check out Makers Clean, which is where all of our microfiber cleaning tools are available. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.